Hi everybody, uh, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I was thumbing through my book, The Karam Psalter, and this is one of my, uh, this is like uh, the golden goose egg, so to speak, I don't know the analogy, of um, deciphering these lost Psalms of David. Um, this is a book I found on Amazon. A scholar who I, I have a lot of his books um, if you see those two yellow books on my bookshelf, those are his, um, the dog is being really annoying, but anyway, I was just thumbing through this book to get to the point of this video, and at the end of this book, towards, there's an appendix, something called the self-glorification hymn composite. And what this is, here are the sources right here. This is a psalm or a hymn or some type of supposedly inspired text um, that is composited, that, that is scattered throughout the Dead Sea Scrolls. And it was composited throughout these sources you see on your screen. So this is what this scholar did. He put them together and formed this lost psalm. Okay, now this psalm is probably pretty controversial. It's not heretical. And here it is, and we're going to read it in this video, okay? Now, the context of this psalm, I think, is... All right, we all know that Yah inhabit, inhabits his praises, right? He loves... He's, we are made to praise God, are we not? So this is a psalm of, I don't know if it's Christ in his second coming or if it's Christ after the millennial reign when there's no more flesh and, and all the glory of the truth of the kingdom comes to fruition. I don't know. But this is like a self-glorification hymn for of the king of glory. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so what might throw people off, which I don't agree with here, is the translation of the word God's, um, I don't know. Okay, so let's just read this and check this out, okay? So I, I, I'm being persecuted, like up the wazoo, man. So I got to hold this with one thumb while, because I have to wipe my mouth every time I speak every two seconds. So, okay. So I'm just going to share this, okay? This might make people feel uncomfortable, or, but I don't know what to make of this. It's not heretical. I don't know. But this was composited throughout, throughout the Dead Sea Scrolls. And it has references to our Bibles. It clearly references Psalms and Isaiah and all this stuff. You know, he wrote a whole essay on this. So let's read it and check it out, okay? I reckon myself among the gods, and my abode is in the congregation of holiness. Okay, I know this is going to make people feel uncomfortable, but just focus on the context. Just hang in there. All right, not everything, things get lost in translation. Maybe the translators didn't do a perfect job, but this is interesting. Try to keep an open mind because, I don't know, let's just read this because this is, very, very interesting. I reckon myself among the gods, and my abode is in the congregation of holiness. Who is reckoned despicable as me? And who has been despised like me? And who is rejected by men like me? And who bears the evil so he compares to me? I mean, this is so boastful. But it clearly... Um, fulfills the fulfillments of messianic prophecy. I, I don't know. It's very interesting. And no instruction can compare with my teaching. For I sat securely in the dwelling of holiness. I mean, even, you know, I mean, just going back to Jesus of Nazareth or of Yeshua, he fulfilled these for sure. Who is like me among the gods? And who could cut me off when I open my mouth? 
and the flow of my speech, who can measure it? Who with language appoints me, and who can compare with my judgment? For I am the beloved of the king, a friend of the holy ones, and no one can enter with me. And to my glory, no one can compare. For me, my rank is with the gods, and my glory is with the sons of the king. Not with pure gold will I crown myself, neither with gold nor with precious stones. That doesn't even make sense. Not with the sons of deceit will he reckon me. So this is the first mention of an Elohim, of the father as compared to his son. You would think he would glorify the father here. It's, this is, it's very interesting. Chant, O beloved ones, sing to the king of glory. And that's the end. It's very, very interesting. Um, it's not heretical. But I just wanted to share it. Very weird. This was found throughout the Dead Sea Scrolls. These are the sources. And it has references. Here we go. It directly quotes Psalm 89, Isaiah. It just goes on and on. Very interesting. Very very interesting. Um, one day I will, you know, I do plan to gather and organize all these psalms and hymns and fragments. It would take a very long time. There's so many of them. But this is a little hidden treasure that only this scholar put together, it seems like, from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, I, I think it's legitimate. I do. Um, this is a hymn, I don't know, for the King of Glory, of the King of Glory, by the King of Glory. I, I don't know. It's very interesting. Alright guys, uh, Shabbat Shalom. I'll be on, when I find something cool to share, um, I'll be on. So this is a, I don't know, just a hidden treasure. I don't know, very interesting. Alright, y'all bless you all. Thanks for tuning in.